There you go. I did it. Yay. Wife is playing tug of war with Gertie Monster. You better hang on, honey. Uh oh, oh my goodness. If Gertie lets go, that ball's gonna come flinging back at my wife. <laughs> Man, do you wanna impress your wife out there? Show them how bold you are by walking straight up to a skunk. I'm having fun. My wife is liking this. <laughs> oh, you're such a good skunk. Peanut butter and jelly, Gertie. I'm checking for ticks. Look at Gertie go. Oh, she's unraveling it. Goodness. Hi there, Heather. Look at this. It's uh, still pretty light out, and we got a couple raccoons here. So, I'm not ready for them. I gotta get more dog food out here. And uh, my wife and I are gonna sit out here, and we're gonna talk about having a uh, question and answer video. Hey, happy Yoon's Day, guys. Boy, it just got dark out, and it's nothing but females here. Here we have Moira, here's Excitable Bill, here's Ebony, and Cutie Monster was here not that long ago, and that other female that's hanging out back by my wood pile. So that seems to be the routine lately. My wife's joined us tonight. Hi. And we're going to try and play some tug-of-war with them. You see this? This is a whole new uh, cookie ball. It's got such big holes on it. So for it to work I kind of had to squeeze things into toilet paper tubes which I like to do with them so it's kind of a double challenge they got to reach in to the ball and then reach into the toilet tubes to get the treats out that's a tough one the holes are a little more narrow but that's probably their favorite to work with their paws and pull on it so yeah this is what's been going on the females seem to show up first and they're showing up even when it's a little bit light out because it's that time of year it's a uh, baby season is approaching and I wouldn't doubt that these females have babies in them. Now, I'm real curious about Moira. Moira is eight years old that I know of. Since 2016, I've seen Moira. And she's got a new big cut in her other ear. She's always had those uh, two on the left side. She's got one on the right side now. She is, uh, she's been through her battles. And the other night, she was acting like her old Moira again. She was just being the queen, screaming at anyone that got close to her. She's being real sweet tonight. So, I gotta say, for being outside, this is the closest uh, Ebony's been to me before. And look at her. She is dark fur and beautiful. She's being real sweet. She's not afraid. And they're not really used to my wife being out here with me too much. Just in the summertime, uh, it's usually us out here every now and then. So our invitation to you guys is any questions you can think of that you want us to answer. Any? <laughs> that doesn't mean we have to answer them. <laughs> but shoot away. Go to the comment section and fire away some, some things you want to know about us. Something you want to know about my wife. Something you want to know about me. Something about us. Something about the raccoons. Something about where we live. We are going to stay anonymous. So far, that's been working out, although I have said we're what state I live in now. So we're not going to give too detailed of information, but you guys can pry a little. And uh, so in an upcoming video, we will answer all your questions. So shoot away, guys. So look at this. Ebony is so close. I throw peanuts down and she comes running. That's a really good sign that uh, she's going to be a really wonderful addition to the group here. I just love how gigantic she is. She is massive. And I'm trying to look at her belly to see if I see it extending. You know, I remember when Moira was pregnant with uh, Mr. Weiner and the other four. My wife and I would watch her and just laugh. Because she would sit on that uh, rock where the bird bath is right there with her legs just spread open. And she... She looked exhausted. She would just be huffing and puffing, and usually it was the daytime. You know, it'd be a couple hours before uh, the sunset, and she was big and fat and pregnant. <laughs> we made sure to spoil her with food and give her everything she wanted, and especially lots of fresh water, because she was just lapping up the water. And I would be amazed if she had babies again. So there's a couple down the path there. 
trying to see if that's Mr. Wiener. Hey, buddy. Over here, you gonna crawl all over me again? You gonna give me another lap dance? <laughs> you know how to get up. There he is. There's the boy. How you doing, buddy? Look what I got. You're here with all the ladies? Yeah, it's just talking about your mom and talking about when you were a baby and you were born. Here you go. So my wife wants to help tonight. Bill. Bill likes it in the shell a lot of times. Is that what you want, Bill? Yeah. So underneath that cone there, I have it taped to the plate. And underneath that cone, it's just loaded with peanuts in the shell. So I want to see if they can navigate that and rip that cone off of that heart-shaped paper plate there. So this happens, you know, a year or, or more into it, they turn on their babies, the moms, and they kind of kick them out. And they say, you're on your own, and they'll grunt and growl at them. Uh, especially this time of year. They don't like the boys around so much. So... Mr. Wiener's just hanging real tight to me. He's like, yeah, I know this is risky being out here with the ladies. But if it holds like the past couple nights, pretty soon the males will come in and they will push some of these females out, I notice. Like Moira will leave. Because uh, she's not comfortable with all those uh, males around. Hi, pal. So today was a beautiful day here. I had to work. My wife got to work from home and she got uh, some time to sneak outside and enjoy the 70 degree weather. It was sunny. Uh, I had a little energy left when I came home from work and I raked up a lot of the yard, a lot of the leaves, and uh, <laughs> a lot of peanut shells. Oh my goodness. I have a whole, whole yard full of peanut shells from these guys and the squirrels. And uh, so our compost pile is uh, getting pretty full with good stuff. Here he comes. Here comes the thief. So, Mr. Wiener, I haven't even opened the cookie package. But you know, there's a ball out there that's full of them. If you want to play with the cookie ball, Mr. Thief. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. You're going to get into it, aren't you? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, here. That's what you want? Look at that guilty face. <laughs> I gotta show him this uh, this cookie ball. And uh, then he can get his fix and he can uh, work for it. He's working for it up here though. You know, every neighborhood's different. I don't know how your neighborhood is with uh, trash cans. Where I uh, grew up, we had the old metal trash cans, and a lot of us would put bungee cords on them because raccoons were just a, a constant uh, nuisance with the trash cans. Every day there would be some neighbor with a, a metal trash can tipped over. Look at this, buddy. Look at that. What is this? Oh, let's see if you figure it out. Oh, there you go. There you go, work those paws. It's a double trick. You gotta work in the ball and then you gotta work in the tube within the ball. Yeah, he's having a tough time. Oh, 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 he's pulling. Come on, Wiener, you can do it. You can do it. Look at how those ears are positioned. He's got that task. You know, one thing I noticed when some of these guys are working on this ball, they almost fall into a trance. They are so focused. Like, uh, that's when I really started to connect with Cutie Monster. Cutie was working on a ball like that. She actually sat in place with that blue ball and she was so intent on trying to pull out a cookie, I just started giving her a foot massage and petting her and she was just zoned out. She didn't She didn't usually like to be touched that much before then. And after that, she was really cool with me touching her. So that's kind of a good uh, breakthrough way is when they're really into it and they're focused, you can start to sneak, sneak touching them on the head or touching them on the foot. And 
you would think they would snap because it's food, but they're just so focused on it and they know you're the hand that feeds them. <laughs> he doesn't want the marshmallows. He just wants the cookies in there. Just grabbed this thing too. I was at a hardware store where I pick up my sunflower seeds for the birds. And I saw that. It wasn't even stocked on the shelves yet. They were getting ready to stock it. And I grabbed it and I took it to the cash register. So that's probably the first one to buy that. So don't forget guys, you can ask us questions. And I'm going to put my wife on the spot right now and ask her a question. Okay. <laughs> so she just got back from getting her hair done. How much does that cost? <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> How much does it cost to get your hair done? There is no price to look good. <laughs> There's no price to look good. You owe whatever it is to look pretty for your husband. Whatever it is. For me, I doubt that. It's to look good for work, I'm sure. Oh, God, you didn't put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's not answering. No. <laughs> so, I'll tell you something about myself. I haven't gotten my hair cut by a barber in a long, long time <laughs> for a couple reasons. I'm a little hair follically challenged, you might say, that and I just cut my own hair. I use uh, clippers, I keep it real short, and I just use a mirror and think of the money I've saved, which allows me to feed these guys. <laughs> and, and my wife has threatened me, because since she's known me, I've had a beard, she said, if you ever cut, cut your beard off, I'm leaving you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the beard has to stay. <laughs> I'm curious if these raccoons would recognize me if I took my beard off. Why don't you go play with the wives? Want to go play with the other one? Silly boy. Oh. You have any ticks? I'll check you for ticks. So this is uh, the troublesome one I named uh, Chaz. And well yesterday was pretty good. And today is being pretty good so far. I think it's there's plenty of food and I don't know where the other raccoons took off to. Um, it's being, being polite. But if uh, Chaz were to uh, lunge at Mr. Wiener, I would lunge at him. <laughs> no one hurts my boy. Oh, here comes a big one down the way. Who's this giant coming? That looks like Gertie Monster coming. I think Gertie Monster is going to join us here. Mr. Wiener. Gertie's coming. The big beast. Here she is. Hi, Gertie. Hi, Gertie. Boop. Oh, I splashed your face. I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> she got her cookie. <laughs> so it's that time of year where I got the hose on again. And I can fill up their water bowl so fast. Back by the shed, I got another big water source. So pretty soon, I'm going to be pulling out the swimming pools for them again. I just love that things are warming up. I'm thinking about uh, planting some plants soon. Going to put some grapes. I'm thinking of adding some berries to the yard. Some things to feed them when uh, all this is polished off at the end of the night. Hi, Gertie. Gertie. Why don't you go figure out the cone? Okay, my wife is going to pet Mr. Wiener. Oh, Mr. Wiener says, hang on there. Oh, look at Gertie. My wife is playing tug-of-war with Gertie Monster. You better hang on, honey. Uh oh Gertie's going to take you for a ride. <laughs> Good job, Gertie. Yay! So I would say uh, the list of people on this planet that have played uh, tug-of-war with a raccoon is pretty low. Not too many out there that can say they've done that. So we got a dog barking back there, and Gertie's the only brave one. <laughs> oh my goodness, if Gertie lets go, that ball's going to come flinging back at my wife. <laughs> oh my goodness, you big girl. 
<laughs> she loves those cookie balls. So we need the other ones to come back. But we're going to have fun with Gertie in the meantime. So she still has that bare spot on the back. Kind of looks uh, a little scabbed over almost. Unless those are new hairs coming up. That might be new black hairs. Look at that. She's, She's doing her, uh, her unicorn pinata maneuver. If you saw the video with her and the unicorn pinata, that's what she did. She sat like that. And she just worked on it. She used that back leg like that. Oh, is she adorable? <laughs> I'm having fun. My wife is liking this. <laughs> she gets to tell everyone at work she got to uh, play tug of war with a big raccoon. I'm going to. <laughs> a really big raccoon. Oh no, the dog. Oh. Okay, fingers crossed that the doggy is all done here. Hi there, Gertie. I see them coming from that direction. So. My wife got a chance to go in the house, and we got some hard-boiled eggs, and we have a peanut butter sandwich, right. peanut butter and jelly. So, when they start to get close, I'm sorry if I'm talking quiet, I'm just worried that dog's laying in the backyard, and I don't want to get it uh, going again. <laughs> so, maybe uh, Gertie will resume uh, tug-of-war with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> my wife said Gertie was pulling very strong. You know what? I think the hairs are coming back on her bald spot. Who is that, Gertie? You just want it easy, don't you? Look at you. There you go, Gertie. You gonna dunk it? You gonna dunk it in the coffee? Nope. I think they're starting to come in now. Which means the dog is probably in the house. They know best. A lot of them are up in the trees and they could probably see over the fence just fine what's going on. And they know when it's safe to come out. There's more. Mm -hmm. So I see Grizz over there. I see Brutus. One's crossing the grass right now. Oh yeah, out there is a nervous Nelly. Uh oh, here she goes. <laughs> yeah, reel her into your feet. <laughs> so, let me get a good look at her bald spot, honey. Oh, off she goes. Gertie knew I was up to something. Oh, I just love that the, the weather's warming up. We're going to get rain tomorrow, so I don't think I'm filming tomorrow. But I think it improves again Friday. So, in the future, coming up, we're going to do uh, the viewer recipe challenges. I'm still waiting for the three winners of the envelope game to uh, submit their recipes. And this isn't the introduction video to submit the recipes yet, but that'll be coming up. And then I hope everyone plays along. And way out in the distance, I see a skunk coming. <laughs> Let's see how long my wife hangs around. <laughs> you up for hanging out with a skunk? Sure. Sure? Yeah. Yes. Because I make it look so easy? Yes. <laughs> Trust me, uh, there's moments where my heart does uh, pick up a little bit, my heart rate. Uh, especially with Moon Pie yesterday, because he's usually more nervous than Cruella when I'm outside. And the fact that he wasn't uh, going anywhere made me concerned he was going to do a quick spray. But he's been good. And I don't know what's wrong with him. It could be old age, it could be... I've heard from others leaving comments that back problems and hip problems are common with skunks. And that's what seems to be the case. So, Can I get you going to try and hand feed Gertie? Yes. Oh, Gertie's a little nervous. Yeah, that's a different hand. you got to go slow and just stay still. Let her come to your hand. And if she doesn't want to, that's okay. There you go. I did it! Yay! My wife hand fed Gertie. The big, big Gertie monster. And Gertie's pretty sweet. She's a real nice one. I would not have my wife hand feed little Napoleon. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens when he shows up. Because he struts his stuff and he's pretty bold. He just might strut right up to my wife and uh, I don't know what's going to happen. He better not try nothing. 
so I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten now. So the other thing I want to do this year is I want to add a lot more bushes to the yard. And especially anything that might put out some berries or some fruit. We do have some mulberry trees, which these guys love. I wouldn't mind planting another mulberry tree or two. I just want to start adding some uh, natural food to the yard, plus extra cover. Um, our neighborhood is kind of wide open. There's not many fences where we live. Um, it usually just goes from yard to yard to yard. And I kind of want to close it up a little bit to have some privacy with these guys. I even hang a tarp on the uh, clothesline over there so my neighbor to the left can't really watch. So I want to plant a lot of bushes this year. And the birds will appreciate it too. I hung uh, four birdhouses yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> um, there can never be enough birdhouses. I love having birdhouses everywhere. And they get used. The wrens use them, the chickadees use them, the sparrows use them. So yeah, uh, the hair's coming back on her uh, bald spot there. And look at her go with the big ball. Look at those big girty monster teeth. Oh, she's, yeah, she pulled out the whole tube. Oh, she got a good prize. <laughs> so I squeezed a few of these in every tube. Oh, you saw me holding that up. And uh, so straight to the water, that tube's going to get nice and uh, malleable now. Okay. Moira knows that my wife has a cookie staring a hole. She's training my wife. Oh, honey, you got to get it closer for Moira. Or she is gonna be pissed. Okay, can I try again? Try again. I, I a little bit further. <laughs> oh, oh honey, <laughs> you're gonna get the wrath of Moira if you keep this up. One more try. That's barely close enough. She could stay on her throne and still <laughs> reach. That's how fussy Moira is. <laughs> the third time was a winner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Moira is training my wife like she trained me. She says, serve me. I am not coming to you. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was bad. <laughs> so Gertie is still working on her uh, toilet tube in there. Toilet paper tube. No one's messed with the uh, cone yet. Toilet paper tube. Toilet paper tube. What do you call it? Toilet paper roll? I don't know. Yeah. My wife's making fun of me. You try talking on camera. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> not that easy. I'll giggle. <laughs> yeah, you'll get the giggles. Look at Gertie go. Oh, she's unraveling it. Oh my goodness. You go, Gertie. You big monster. Look at you. Oh, Moira. <laughs> Moira. Miss Moira. She knows her name, too. There it is. <laughs> Moira's looking big. She's put on some weight, and... Across the way, I think that's Cruella's coming in now. So where's Chaz? I think there's Chaz. So the other day I saw Chaz over here, low to the ground like a cat. Like when a cat's gonna pounce, when another raccoon was going by. I have never seen a, a raccoon do that cat behavior before. Is that you, Nervous Nelly? So my theory is that uh, Nervous Nelly is Moira's sister. Hear that neat uh, vocalization right there? There you go. There you go, Nellie. Thanks for standing. Oh, Moira. Is that your sister, Nervous Nellie? Oh, hang on. That was a cookie top, not the whole thing. Right to you. Cruella, we got cookies for you. And peanuts and dog food. And marshmallows. And an egg and a peanut butter sandwich. Oh yeah, egg and a peanut butter sandwich. I gotta get this stuff out. Gertie. Gertie, look at this. Peanut butter and jelly, Gertie. <laughs> Honey, she, she doesn't like your sandwich. <laughs> Should we throw it to Moira? Yes. Okay. Mama Moira. Miss Moira. 
Okay, you're gonna love this. <laughs> she doesn't want it either. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is what? wrong with them? <laughs> what is wrong with these raccoons is right. Oh, she's gonna come through a fit. She says, you know what I want, don't tease me. I'm gonna try the eggs. All right, we're gonna try some hard boiled eggs. No, we're not too lazy to hard boil our own eggs. It was a rush for the Easter special and they're still good. They haven't expired. <laughs> so we have these leftover eggs to give them. That was fun, that Easter special, seeing uh, which style eggs they liked. Uh, the sunny side up was, uh, was the popular one. Oh, goodness, Gertie. Uh-oh. Nope. <laughs> Why don't you just toss them all out there, honey? Oh yeah. I want to see what Moira does when she gets down to that yolk. That one night we had the Easter thing. There was leftover eggs in the shell, and I dropped one right by the by Cruella, and Cruella lapped up that egg and just loved it. Gertie, you don't want an egg, so maybe I'll give one to Cruella out there. Ooh ooh, it rolled right to her on oh, raccoon. Oh, we're gonna get sprayed. Did you see that raccoon bolted in front of the skunk and stole the egg? And that tail is up on the skunk. And they're butt to butt. I don't smell nothing now. <laughs> yeah, the, the raccoon and the skunk are butt to butt. Uh oh, uh oh. Cruella is jerking. She might, she might shoot. You sure you wanna be out here, honey? We'll both be going to a hotel tonight. And that sign by the swimming pool area that says take a shower before you jump in, we'll have to do that. She didn't, <laughs> she didn't spray. You don't smell nothing? I've been smelling it every night. And our, our viewers have told us that it takes them 10 days to fill up their reservoir, but I don't know. Why am I smelling it so often? Look at Moira, she is down in that egg. Is that all of it? Yeah, there's only, there was only three. Okay. I'm gonna try and impress my wife. <laughs> Men, do you wanna impress your wife out there? Show them how bold you are by walking straight up to a skunk that's been spraying to feed them. Oh goodness, gotta to toss it better than that. Come on, Cruella. Come on, get the egg. It's me. It's me. There you go. Come on. Oh, you're such a good skunk. You want cookie over egg? Doing that back up maneuver. Don't squirt. <laughs> That's how you impress your wife. Wow. <laughs> impressed, honey. Oh, yeah. So impressed. <laughs> okay, Mr. Wiener's back. Mr. Wiener, look what my wife has for you. Mr. Wiener. Hey, buddy. Mr. Buddy. Wiener. Buddy. Buddy, my wife wants your undivided attention, Wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Wiener is playing with balls. My wife wants you, Wiener. Wiener, my wife wants you so bad. There you go. Uh-oh, the wiener's not sure. Oh, the wiener said no to my wife. Oh, that's not good. He just wants to play with the balls. Okay. Well, you know what, guys? <laughs> I'm going to say happy you and stay here. It's getting kind of funky with this uh, skunk smell out here. <laughs> but uh, go to the comment section and uh, fire away some questions, things you want us to answer in an upcoming video. And uh, if it's not divulging too much information, we'll be happy to answer. Okay, good night, guys. Bye. Good night.